<laughs> God save your majesty, my royal cousin. Teach you our princess English? I would have her learn, my lord, how perfectly I love her, and that is good English. Is she not apt? <clears throat> our tongue is rough, cousin. Our condition is not smooth. Therefore, having neither the voice nor the heart of flattery in me, I cannot so conjure up in her the spirit of love as he would appear in his true likeness. Pardon me for the frankness of my mirth, if I answer you for that. If you conjure in her, you must make a circle. Conjure up love in her in his true likeness, then he must appear naked and blind. Can you then blame her being a maid yet rosed over with the crimson virgin of modesty? <laughs> if she deny the appearance of a naked blind boy in her naked seeing self, <laughs> tis a hard condition, my lord, for a maid to consign to. Yet they wink and yield as love is blind and enforces. Then they are excused, my lord, for they see not what they do. Then, good my lord, you must teach your cousin to consent winking. I will wink on her to consent if you will teach her to know my meaning. For maids, well summered and warm kept, are like flies at Bartholomew Tide, blind, though they have their eyes, and then they will endure handling. Wits before, my lord, would not abide looking on. Then shall I catch the fly, your cousin, at the latter end, and she must be blind too. As love is, my lord, before loves. So it is. Mm -hmm. Many of you may no doubt thank love for my blindness that cannot see many a fair French town for the sake of one fair French maid that stands in my way. Yes, my lord, you view them prospectively. All the cities turned into a maid, for they are all girdled with maiden walls, that Warren never entered. <laughs> Shall Kate be my wife? So please you. Then I am content. So the cities you talk of shall attend upon her. So the maid that stood in the way of my wish shall show me the way to my will. We have consented to all terms of reason. Is so, my lords of England. The king hath granted every article, his daughter first, and then in sequel all, according to their firm proposed natures. <laughs> Only he hath not yet subscribed to this, that your majesty demand from the king of France, having any occasion to write for matter of grant, shall address him in this form and with this addition, in French, notre très chef fils Henri, roi d'Angleterre, héritier de France, and thus in Latin, proclarissimus filius noster Henricus, Rex Angliae Eres Franciae. Nor have I not, brother, so denied this, but our request shall make me let it pass. I pray thee in love and dear alliance, let that article rank within the rest. And thereupon, give me your daughter. Take her, fair son. And from her blood, raise up issue to me that the contending kingdoms of France and England, whose very shores look pale with envy upon each other's happiness, may cease their hatred. And this dear conjunction plant neighborhood and Christian-like accord in their sweet bosoms that never war advance his bleeding sword twixt England and fair France. Amen. Amen. Now welcome. And bear me witness all, but here I kiss her as my sovereign queen. God, the best maker of marriages, combine your hearts in one, your realms in one. As man and wife being two are one in love, so may there be twixt your kingdom such a spousal that never may ill office or fell jealousy, which troubles off the bed of blessed marriage, thrust in between the faction of these kingdoms to make divorce of their incorporate league. That English may as French, French Englishmen receive each other. God speak this, amen. 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 Prepare we for our marriage, upon which day my Lord of Burgundy 
we will take your oath. And peers all for the surety of our leagues. Then will I swear to Kate and you to me. And may our oaths well kept and prosperous be. Thus far, with rough and all unable pen, our bending author hath pursued the story. In little room confining mighty men, mangling by start the full course of their glory. Small time, but in that small most greatly lived this star of England. Fortune made his sword, by which the world's best garden he achieved, and of it left his son, imperial lord, Henry the Sixth, an infant band's crowned king of France and England did this king succeed, whose state so many had the managing that they lost France and made his England bleed, which oft our stage hath shown. And for their sake, in your fair minds let this acceptance take. Thank you guys so much.